Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about how to make a counting bot. Um, so if you've seen my previous videos, um, I try to base all of my videos off of a base repository. Um, I put it in the description, um, but here it is. And this is a template repository on GitHub. So for any project that you want to start with, um, this gives you a good clean base to start from. So you can press use this template. Um, we can create a repository name. So we can say uh, Discord counting bot description a Discord bot that counts. Uh, we we'll make this public and we can create a repository from the template. So while this is generating, um, Discord counting bots are something that are very popular uh, and I thought I'd talk about how to actually make one today because they're not really that hard to make um, and given this template that we have here, uh, there's just a few steps we need to do to actually, um, you know, get the bot going. So the first thing that we're going to want to do to get this template to work is we're going to go to discord.developers, discord.com slash developers slash applications. Um, so in here, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a token and a client ID um, to actually authenticate with Discord and get the bot started. So a few things. Let's go ahead and, and um, go back to the, to our repository here. Uh, we need to actually clone this down um, so I can talk a little bit more about, um, you know, how to get this set up with the template I provide. So we're going to go to cd slash documents slash GitHub for me. We're going to clone this repository. Okay, so once we have this open in VS Code, we need to actually configure a few things to get the bot working. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually, we're gonna wanna go ahead and create an environment variables file inside of um, this, this project that we have here. And inside of this file, you're gonna see in the readme actually, um, I've kinda laid out what you need to do here, but let's copy and paste this into the env file. So we need two things. We need Discord token and we need client ID. Um, if you don't know what environment uh, variables are, they're going to be uh, variables that are loaded on your operating system and accessed um, later on. So if we go to this libs file, we can see in this config, we're actually going to use a module called .env. It's going to load this env file, and we're going to access them from this process.env uh, and grab these values. And then we export it as a config file. So let's talk about how to get a token. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need um, is going to add a bot. We're going to play, press yes, counting bot. We need to reset the token here. Now, if you have two-factor authentication on, you're gonna have to enter your two-factor code. Um, that's just the way it is. If you don't have it on, it's just gonna immediately show up for you. Um, we're going to enter this code in here and we're going to copy this, this token that I'm going to have to delete later um, for privacy reasons and we're gonna paste that in there. The next thing we're gonna need is a client ID. Uh, we can go to this OAuth2 page and press copy. Um, that's gonna give us our client ID. We're gonna paste that in here. Now we have everything we need to run the bot, but why, what are we forgetting? So the bot actually needs to be added to the server. Get the bot added to the server. We need to go back to this page and go OAuth2. We're gonna go to URL generator. We're gonna click on bot and then administrator. And then we're going to copy and paste this into a browser. So Chrome works. And we're gonna add it to a server. Um, you can add it to whatever server you're gonna test in. But for example, I'm gonna add it to my test server that I use to test bots. So we're gonna choose our server, authorize it, confirm you're a human. And then you're gonna see that it should be added to this test server. So if I go over to my test server here, you can see that um, counting bot was added to the server. So now we have the bot in the server and we have it configured. We should be able to go to our terminal inside of this repository through npm i, which installs our packages. So we should be able to start our bot. We can do npm and start. And we're gonna see a error pop up that says privilege and 10 is not enabled or whitelisted. What that means is we need to go back into our portal, we need to go to bot, and we need to turn on the um, message content intent and the server members intent, and then we should be able to um, start the bot. So once this bot um, is ready, it'll actually log that it's ready. So when it says registering interactions with Discord, um, that actually is, it's, it's registering in slash commands with Discord. This can take some time. So after the first time we have this enabled, um, I usually turn this to false um, so we don't have to wait anymore. It's just a really good way to save time. If everything started and it says completed Discord authentication, it should mean that it's ready. So if we go to our Discord, we can see the counting bot is live. This is something that we want to see. If it's not online, it means it didn't authenticate right. Um, you probably need to double check your um, auth token that you added or your client ID and make sure um, you know there's not something wrong with that. Um, usually if there is, an error will be logged, um, but you never really know. So let's get started making the accounting bot. The first thing we need to know for accounting bot is we actually need a accounting bot channel in your Discord. So let's go ahead and create a new channel. Um, we can say create new channel, counting, and we're gonna create channel. We're gonna need the ID from this. So we're gonna say copy ID. 
um, and then we're going to we're going to create a new environment variable. So we're going to say counting channel equals this, and this is going to make it really configurable. So later on, you can easily change um, the counting channel. So once we add this to the env file, we need to actually go to the config.js, and we need to say counting channel process.env counting channel. This is going to be passed as a, as a variable in the config then, and so we will actually have um, access to the counting channel. So now when we think of a, uh, a counting bot, uh, what's the next step? We need to actually listen for messages to be created so we can actually um, determine for counting. So let's go to the events folder inside of libs and go to message create. And this is going to be when a message is created. We can see that the bot is already configured um, with some logging and it will not um, pay attention to messages if it's from a bot. Um, but after this if statement here, we need to actually get started with the counting. So we're going to say let count equals zero because we're going to start at zero and then we're going to actually um, configure the counting now. So we're going to say if, if e.channel that ID equals equals, and this is where we need the counting channel. So we're gonna say const counting channel equals require the config. This is gonna give us access to the counting channel. So we're gonna say if it's the counting channel and a message is sent, we need to actually run this logic beneath it. So if uh, e.content is a number, we need to do this. So after we have this filter here, we need to actually grab the number from the message. So we're going to say const number equals number of e.content. This is going to grab the content of the message and try to cast it to a number. If it's not a number, it's going to come out as man, which is not a number. So we're going to say if number, and what, what does this do here? So if, if not a number comes out of here, not a number is a falsy value. What falsy value means is that this if statement is going to actually um, come out to be false. Um, and so. If they pass this and it's not a number, uh, it's going to be false. But what's the next thing we need to do? So once we have this filter here, we need to actually start to see for counting. So we're going to say if number of e dot content equals equals count plus one, then we do this. If it doesn't, it means that the counting was interrupted and we actually need to restart from zero. So we're going to say count equals zero, and we're going to actually uh, we're going to re reply to this and say await. Oh, E dot reply you miscounted restarting from zero now you see that there's a, a red highlight here that's because you can only await things in an async function so we're gonna make this an async function you're gonna see this go away now so now if you if you miscount um, it restarts from zero. But what if you properly count so we have up here if, if the number uh, that you type is equal to count plus one it means you pass in a good value. So we're going to increment count by one. So count plus plus, it's going to in, uh, increase it by one. And we're not going to say anything because we don't want to say anything on a successful message. So now let's test this. So start your Discord bot. By default, um, the npm start command will actually auto start um, with a package called nodemon. Um, it'll auto hot, hot reload so you don't have to like type anything or anything. But if you haven't started it, go ahead and restart it. And then let's hop over to Discord. See, I've been testing here a little bit, but let's let's go ahead and, and try the bot our, ourselves. So we say one, two, three, four. We see everything's fine, but what if I type eight now? You miscounted restarting from zero. Now we should expect the next number to be one. So I'm gonna type three, and you can see it works properly. So let's press one. You can see it works properly. Three again, miscounted. So this is a very simple counting bot. You can see that with this little code here, we actually created counting. However, there is an exception to this. This bot will only run in one server. If you want to run a bot across multiple servers, it gets a little more complicated, and we can probably talk about that in another video, but this is a very simple counting bot for you and your friends to use in your own server. If you want to have this deployed across many servers, um, I'll make a video about that later. But this is a counting bot. As you can see here, everything works. Um, if you have any questions about it or any problems you come across, please feel free to comment. Um, you know, I'll, I'll hop on Discord with you. I'll hop on your GitHub and see what's going on. I'd be glad to help. But if you start from my template repository, you're going to have an e even easier time. Um, but that's really it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thanks.